no, no, no. A fraud was reported with one of your technicians that said they were going to send the email. I want you to confirm that that really happened. If it was a real call or not, I want to just make sure. Seven one four seven seven zero four one zero six, and I want to state there was a crime committed to me over the phone stolen by police officers that are reported earlier today of committing child crimes. They committed a retaliation, not only stating on video that I put on YouTube about my family going to come home in 10, 20 minutes, that my family worked with them, but I took my family came home in exactly 10 minutes. And what they did was, had the police try to entrap me as they pulled up in front of my home, and they're the thieves of my phone number, and they're involved with the theft of my phone number. Just to let you know. Just, it's just for your recording, so that way I have it for a judge to submit to the judge. That's all. So the judge can hear what... Oh, okay, so yeah. yeah. I just want you to check on the fraud earlier. Yeah, it's me, Mark Schauer. Um, I just wanted to verify your phone number. It's 714, is that correct? Yep. Your area code? Uh-huh. Yep. 714 is that correct? It's correct. Yeah, right now I'm going to give you the information of the thief and what, and what company they bootloaded it to. So I want you to be able to write it down so you can turn in with the report. As I caught the thieves in action, I got to who stole it and how they bootloaded it to another company. And I want to give you all the serial numbers and the suspect involved phone number, MAC addresses for committing identity theft. They committed a crime to me as I'm disabled. So I want to press charges for a crime to a disabled person. I got it on recording right now. I'm going to be sending it to the sheriff's department next. So I just want to have it for record. Now, if my phone hangs up on me, I want you guys to call me back 15 minutes after the phone calls. Be uh, if the phone call hangs up, because the people in the, in the building committing a facilitated torture to me for four years and with me having it on farmer's insurance claim, proving so, as I have a claim for it. So I'm just letting you know. And I have all the suspects, like apartment number 216 is involved in hacking 911 calls involved in hacking Homeland Security, and involved in frauding our Secret Service and helping impersonate a Secret Service agent on 9-16-2017, where it was, uh, a, they impersonated a Secret Service agent, it was an LAPD officer who impersonated it, and it was at my probation office, and it's under camera evidence, just to let you know. Right. Now, ma'am, ma I do want to state this. I want, I want to state this before I'm recording, and this is going to be going on YouTube. Now, my phone was stolen by Spectrum for two years. You guys told me no, that it wasn't. But I saw it on my phone that it was bootloaded to Spectrum and hooked up under a 100 megabit app that people were committing fraud in the millions of dollars under my name. Not only committing fraud, but committing crimes to our United States White House by a planned attack. Uh, planning to explode the White House, these suspects are involved in. Um, I'm, I am uh, advising you to turn this recording into your uh, chief of police or your military um, sergeant in arms uh, due to a attack planned in the White House and all my phone communications cut out. I do want you to give all my phone records to uh, your chief of police to have them contact the United States White House and the Secret Service and the reason is this, not only after LAPD officers and six police stations of their kind failed to report child endangerment, but a FCC part 15 model number three, A is an alpha, A is an alpha dash, T is in Tom, C is in Charlie, a war weapon transmitter for wiretapping and communications was illegally put in my home by LAPD officers and Iranian terrorist suspects out of apartment 208 of 18620, what I did was, I put the evidence of this transmitter and pictures 
I want you to give the evidence of 15,000 posts of not only evidence of the of the devices connected to the internet when LAPD and FBI as FBI was using their uh, Wi-Fi name FBI2 with their partner Surveillance Van 3 were on my IP address but they committed a life sentence crime a cyber terrorist attack on May 4th 2017 from phone number 818-654-6955. Now, in the home phone of that AT&T phone, and I do want to uh, state the, uh, the, the van that is pulling up in front of 18601 Hatter Street, who's going to be committing crimes right now. Now, that's where 90% and a billion dollar deficit and the frauding of Homeland Security, I search app, not only frauded, but frauding a FOIA um, report, which is a Freedom Act report. LAPD officers involved in the terrorist crime committed attempted murder and a uh, uh, attempted kidnapping that night, right after the FOIA report. But not re not not only did they send a frauded FOIA report confirmation, but they frauded Homeland Security uh, reference to the message I sent to them, and they frauded their website, which is a security app of 20 years in prison, for committing a retaliation on a Freedom Act paperwork. Which is an additional 20 years in prison, a 40 year uh, prison, prison sentence. Now, I want to say, LAPD officers, not only about 20 minutes ago, uh, trapped me in my home, but illegally connected to my modem, they participated in hooking them to my Wi Fi in order for my phone to get stolen and be used in a crime against the White House. So I would not be able to communicate with Secret Service or Homeland, and that's why they impersonated a Secret Service agent on 9-16-2017 and committed a capital punishment crime. It's a life sentence, probably they could be put to death for it because they kept a four-year facilitated torture of me, of twisting and drugging me every day through my mother and having my brother and mother commit fraud. But the reason why they did that is because police officers threatened to kill everybody in my house. Now, why they threatened to kill everybody in my house? And after I took evidence to internal affairs investigator, Mr. Marez, Sergeant 2, in uh, the Bradbury building in Los Angeles, which is the internal affairs building, what happened was I went to go tell uh, Mr. Marez about them threatening to kill everybody in my house. So I let my mother and brother do what they had to do because I didn't want them to get killed. So not only did they threaten my seven-year-old mom, but they had somebody attack my mother at seven years old and sexually assault her. Um, they not only had that happen, but they had the same suspect that did that for the police and the police sending in thousands of people into my building to commit computer crimes for them. And they're mostly informants, pedophiles, snitches, rats, and punks. Most of them. You know what I'm saying? There's a couple that get slide off that, but most of them are punks and snitches and rats and punks. You know the people, the shit that you uh, have in your fish tank and, and fish bowl, the thing that's stuck on the glass? They're like those things, pretty much. Yeah. They're like scumbags of earth. Um, so what happened was, when I gave Mr. Morris uh, that message about the cops wanting to kill everybody in my house, what they did was not only send somebody to kill me, but the evidence I gave them that day, they moved out the building, the Bradbury building out, out the next day. Then I winded up uh, reporting it to the Inspector General's building, but then found out the Inspector General was in on it too. His building, his officers are involved in it too, because... Not only they gave me a false mental health history by committing fraud, right? Not me not living in my brother or mother's home, but I gave them the proof of it. The the notarization of the device with the model number and the, and the, and the wires that were on it, so, and the commission stamped by a commissioner uh, that was done on uh, it was done on February 16, 2017 at Tarzana Printing and sent to Department of Justice on 9 10 2016. But what I found out was this: I found out that I was a victim of a crime that has police and FBI agents involved. So the, the crime states on the definitions, and you can see it under my 15,000 posts of evidence, everything, there's all the crimes there, all the evidence, even a letter from the chief Charlie Beck, police chief, stating I'm right about what's going on. It, I even get the letter from him saying I'm right. Now, um, not only um, is it on Mark, M is in Mary, A is in Apple, R is in Red, K is in Kill, period, S is in Sam, H is in Hell, A is in Apple, L is in Lamb, L is in Lamb, uh, it says two L's, 
and then uh, Aiden Indian, and then Tears and Charms, period 902 at Instagram.com. So um, not only do I have all the evidence pertaining to facts there, but these guys committing millions and millions, a billion dollar deficit for innocent taxpayers and misusing uh, taxpayers' funds, uh, not only to commit crimes, but to hide it and block Homeland Security phone calls. Now, I want to state what happened at Best Buy is I bought a laptop from Best Buy, and I'm going to give you the serial numbers so that way they can uh, uh, they can see the evidence on the Internet that not only illegal surveillance found on the laptop, but illegally remotely controlled the Asus laptop five months before purchasing the laptop and me just buying another laptop that police had trapped me on. Not only before, me just leaving Costco after returning a TV that 300 police officers, and you can see their vehicles at the Costco and on the pictures on the, on the website I just gave you, all their vehicles in the parking lot of the police officers involved in a life sentence crime with their families off duty. But when I took a picture of the police vehicles in the parking lot on Instagram, they scrambled the whole picture with scrambling, and it's never seen on Instagram before. But you can see those pictures of evidence there. And proving I'm right, they blocked the license plate of the vehicle and why they scrambled the photo, because I was right. But they re returned the TV that I kept the button of the TV. The button of the TV is the same as the FCC transmitter, which states these exactly. R1, C4, R3, uh, P02, 502, uh, C2, 102, and those are all transmitting feeds. And now we got another two guys coming in the building to commit computer crimes as well with earpieces on their ears. And that's exactly what LAPD is involved with. They send these people into the building to not only involve themselves with terrorism and life sentences, because they're going to get life in prison, because I'm going to make sure they get life. And how I know they're going to get life is this reason. When I called from 714-770-4106 to Washington, D.C., Secret Service, uh, Special Agent Mr. Burgins or Belkins from the Secret Service, not only after giving them 15,000 undeniable pieces of evidence on Instagram account, one minute after this phone call, the same truck with the Bobcat loaded on a trailer pulled up to in front of my window, but changed the USS ID codes on my phone, 714-770-4106. Now I'm gonna give you the IMEI code of that phone that, see, that not only Spectrum lied for two years about having my cell phone, but only to admit it on four recordings that you can see on the same website I gave you. But they disabled that cell phone and illegally erased the whole Instagram account off my phone with that 15,000 pieces of evidence on the spot, one minute after giving that evidence to that Secret Service agent. Think about that for one second, and I've been through seven attempted murders by LAPD. Think about it. And I'm still committing crimes in it. What do you think about that? Oh, they disconnected the phone on, uh, not only right now, whoever hit the gate, and the person that got some stuff connected to the gate, and the Israelis that have it connected to that little box that opens the gate, where they have infrared lights coming out of there, but used in computer crimes, just like my air conditioner, which is 8,000, but it has a master lock on it with cameras, me being living here 25 years, and not once ever a master lock or a lock on my air conditioning door. Think about it for two seconds. But not only the air conditioning Israeli terrorists parked down the block in their van for two hours watching my house. Think about why. This is going on Instagram. This is going on YouTube. This is going everywhere. Enjoy.